me down there in that bomb shelter, I never stopped thinking about you. I never stopped. Is everything okay? No, no, everything's not okay, as a matter of fact. Oh, is there anything I can do? No, thanks. I, she just got really slammed or something, and, and, and there's nothing I can do to make it better. It's part of being a parent, isn't yeah. it? Every day a new challenge. How to make things better for our kids. I just, you know, you think of a kid easier when they got old. Well, the monsters under the bed disappear, but the world is still a pretty scary place. Yeah, it is scary. And painful. Hey, I know you'll find a way to help me through it. Thanks. See if I can find a way to make this better. Yeah. Sit down. Uh, Dre, Dre, uh, didn't you say that you uh, you saw JR go upstairs at the hotel? Yeah. Do you know the room number? Oh, no clue. I just know he took off with babe. Oh, won't she ever learn? I uh, had the same thoughts about JR. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> hmm. um, why don't you uh, just sit down, darling? I want you to stay right here and don't move. Dad. Don't move, please, please. I'm not going to be gone long. I'm just going to find out if, if JR checked into the hotel. Okay. Adam. JR and Colby are perfectly Dad, safe. Why don't you please, calm down please, and go? Leave you just alone. got out of a mental hospital. Forgive me if I don't want to give him free reign. Hey, man. <laughs> That is a hatter, right? Yeah. That's it. You, <laughs> this is one. Do you know that you remember oh, several weeks ago when you brought your entire family over and dumped them in my living room because you said they needed help? They were, uh, they, they were afraid they were in danger. Do you remember that? Hmm? <laughs> well, um, now my family's in danger. And I'm, gonna, oh, I'm running all over the place looking for, for JR. I don't know where the hell he is. And I'm going to get him together with Colby later. And we're going to go over to Uncle Stewart's house and uh, get locked up. And we're going to be safe and sound. <laughs> if you try to stop me, anyway, I'm going to break you like a stick. You cannot change the future this way. There's only one thing you can do, and you know what that is. Adam, you have to listen to me before people get hurt. I've been listening to you forecasting doom for weeks now. But today is the day. But you can tell Tad that the baby is right at his feet. That's not going to spare anybody. Just listen to me. Just trust me. No, no. Well, maybe, maybe I don't trust you because uh, you uh, love to see me suffer. Yes, that's it. Adam, you know, you think that you could just take on everything and, and anything, but this is too big, even for you. you. Life and death are too big, even for you. Are you telling me that somebody is going to die? It's been a while. Yeah, it has. It's been way too long. And I'm just getting fired up. Oh, God, I wish it could always be like this. It's handy, babe. For us. How, how did we get here, JR? Uh, how did we get here? I don't know. Um, the elevator? <laughs> you know what I mean. And I don't want to go there because I want to go here. So I want to go here. Uh, you know I can't think when you do that. Well, that's the point. <laughs> but Jr. 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 Eventually, we have to come up for air and think. We can't stay in bed forever. Well, we can try. And I know that we would give it a good long run, but what happens when I hate myself, when we finally have to get out of bed and get dressed again, and, and I have to figure out how I got sucked back in? All right, you want an answer? Yeah, I do. The wedding. 
The wedding, that's it? Yeah. I mean, weddings have a way of making people want to pair off. You know, something about seeing a couple make it that long is... just gets people in the mood. We wouldn't give anybody credit for why we ended up here. I'd say the credit goes to the happy couple. I don't care what you do to me, just let her go. How noble of you. My, my. Was it that nobility that kept you on the run for 20 years? If you you're going to kill somebody, kill me. Oh, this is so what are you touching. talking about? Jesse, Stop I it. love you so no, much. No, this is your fault. Jesse, we have All right, let's, 20 let me just, years can, can together. I just, excuse me, can I just break into this little love fest? Because I have an idea. Now, why don't I just shoot Jesse and he can die in your arms? I can watch no. that happen. I'll make no. you feel again, Angie. Huh? Oh, been there, done that? Well, that's too bad because I missed that move and scene the first time around. What's the matter, Robert? Never had anybody to love you. Never experienced the kind of love Jesse and I share. Oh, you need to the share. kind of love that can survive pain and distance. Please, please, please just calm down. You know, shut your wife up, Jesse, because she does not know what she's talking yeah, about. No, you can't know what love is. Okay, no, see, you're wrong. Because I was in love. I met a woman in Vegas. It was a crazy, wild, just just once-in-a-lifetime kind of love. And she loved me. She was beautiful, warm, kind. But I got involved with a diamond, and that didn't help things. It would have worked out except for your damn family. Oh, so my family is now responsible for your failed marriage? Let's just say I got involved with a diamond, and my marriage went south. I'm sorry, my wife didn't die as I told you, Fanny. You're another lie. Oh, it didn't work. Got me. Helped me get in your door, didn't it? Well, but if you do not know what love is, then please give us that. We deserve it. You can take your stupid diamond and you can go anywhere you want. Well, you know, that is just exactly what I was planning on, didn't I? We're in a hotel full of our friends. Exactly how do you plan to get out of here, Robert? I'm a friend. Your little wife is going to be my ticket out of here. What is with you, Tad? I mean, I know you never miss an opportunity to take a shot at Adam, but no, the man please, is on. not well. You're going to tell me you're upset with me? Would you He's the look one at him, Adam? He is paranoid. He I know. Is tell me something he I don't know. Sick. How can you tell the difference? He's been acting delusional for years. This is exactly the time. That you is what I am talking about, Tad. That kind of comment right there is a perfect example of your attitude. Don't lecture me about my attitude. My attitude. All you've done lately is defend him, no matter what he comes up with. Hell, I'm starting to feel like there's three of us in this marriage. Are you okay? No, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. What better than somebody else is going to be? What? What were you doing in that closet? I was looking for something, something to kill a rat with. Have you seen Robin Gardner any place lately? <laughs> <laughs> Julia, listen, I'm going to get out of here. If anybody sees Green Lady, please have them tell them I'm trying to find her. Oh, yeah, sure. Bye, Jack. See ya. See ya. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go, too, before it gets too crazy. Oh. Mm. Hey, it was really nice seeing you again. Oh, thank you. Dance. Yes, anytime. <laughs> and give the happy couple my love. I don't They vanished. Yeah, I will. <laughs> It's going to be fine. Just stay calm. Oh, my God. Can't you do better than that, Jesse? I love you. Oh. Jesse, I always have. No, I love you. Robert. 
You've tried to insinuate your way into my life. 